Hi guys, good morning. Uh, in this video, we're going to see the problem uh, prime subtraction operations. It's a pretty trivial like kind of brute force solution you can also write it's just very basic implementation problem and just you are given a zero indexed integer array called as nums of length n cool uh, you can perform the following operations as many times as you want what is the operation like it is that you need to pick an element an index which is i that haven't been picked before cool pick a prime number p strictly less than nums of i you pick an element you pick a prime number p which is less than i number prime number it should be less than my actual number cool and subtract p from that nums of i which it is indirectly means that my nums of i it can never become negative right return true if you can make nums strictly increasing strictly increasing means next element should be more than the previous element it it can't be more than equal to also it should be more than the previous element cool uh, in the above operations and return false if it is not possible and so define what is strictly increasing so firstly um when we just read the question itself what it is saying that we need to generate prime numbers right so if you want to pick up prime numbers so firstly we should be knowing okay if you have a number cool but what all prime numbers i can pick okay i know i can pick less than that less than the particular number this but what are the prime numbers so firstly as the constraints are pretty low it is up till 1000 although there are brute force algorithms to generate the prime numbers but here i have just used c which is the most optimized algorithm to generate the prime numbers so firstly we can just generate it is nothing re related to the problem we can just by seeing the question we can just say okay firstly Let's make sure that I have prime numbers, which is which are less than 1000 because my limit of nums of i is 1000. So firstly, I make sure, okay, in my mind, I have prime numbers, all prime numbers are available to me, which are less than 1000. Cool. Now, one task, kind of like problem, problem statement, half problem statement I have picked up. Like now, let's see what's the rest of the problem statement. We have to make it as strictly increasing, which means that it should keep on increasing. Which means that if I have, firstly, I have this prime, prime numbers, I just put them aside. It is put aside, which are less than 1000. Less than 1000. It are, we just grab them and like put them aside. Now, I have to make it strictly increasing. To make anything strictly increasing, what we can do? The operation we have is to subtract, pick an index i and subtract p from nums of i. If you want to make something strictly increasing, let's say if it is something like this, let's say it is the height and you want to make it strictly increasing. So you will try and you and the only operation you have is to subtract, which means to remove something from here. If you want to make it strictly increasing, so you will try. Okay, let's remove like nothing from the last one. Let's try to remove very small if, if, if required, very small from the second last one. From the third last, let's try to remove very small such that it just becomes strictly increasing because as we go on backwards, I have to make sure that it is increasing, which means that the next element I have, the next element, which is this element, I have to keep it as max as possible, as max as possible. So I will try to, if, if and only if I have to reduce, so I'll try to reduce as minimum as possible. In the last element, it's of no restriction because like nothing is after him. So I will just not reduce. Let's say something would have been something like this, this and this. It is just, I have shown the heights. Let's say if something is there and height is there and you have to make this height strictly increasing. So here at the last, when I see at the last, okay, I want to make it strictly increasing. I have operation to reduce. And if I reduce it, it will become more smaller and it is not restricted by anything after it because like last element has nothing after it. So I will just not reduce anything in the last element. Cool. In the second last element, I will see I have to make it strictly increasing, which means that it should be it like second last element. It should be less than the next element. So I'll try to make it. I try to reduce it such that it is just small than my next element. Now the previous element which is the third last element i again try to make it just small just small then the next element which is this second last element 
so that ultimately because i have to ultimately go back and make it strictly increasing so that it will actually be become like this become like this so in the last i'll try to reduce as minimum as possible because ultimately i have to feed my numbers which are in the beginning also so it is the only thing okay i'll move from the end and i'll try to reduce this prime number p from the end and i'll try to reduce as new as possible if and only if it is required let's see how if this is example so i have to make it strictly increasing or oh, it is not for now firstly we can just see if it is strictly increasing or not if it is not then we can just try to do it if it is then we can just turn it true but still let's see how we can do it if we have this last element as i said last element is not dependent upon any other any other element in the in the next thing because it's the last element so it is strictly at the last okay so it is not dependent i'll just move on to the next element which is six six should be less than the next element which is 10 and it is so yeah i'm good let's move backwards i am standing at nine nine is more than six Oof. i need to make it less than I need to make it less than my six and the operation I have to and the operation I have is to perform the operation of reducing a prime number in this nine so I have option okay I can just reduce a prime number from this nine what is the condition like you have to pick a prime number which is strictly less than my num so five as I have made all the prime numbers with me it's ready with me I have already made all the prime prime numbers with me so i know what are the prime numbers which is less than nine i just move on move on move on until i find okay because see after seven the next prime number is 11 which is more than nine so i'll just stop at seven okay all these numbers two three five seven are the prime numbers which is which are less than nine now now the thing is okay rn if you have to pick a prime number to reduce right what prime number to pick as i said I need to reduce this number, which means reduce this height. If, if I represent this number as a height, then I, I want to reduce this 9 as minimum as possible, such that it just becomes less than 6. It just becomes less than 6. So that, why I want to reduce this as low as possible? Because next element is 4. I also want to accommodate that 4. So uh, it, it should not be the case that I reduce it, let's say, to 1, and then my 4 it just remains oh i don't have any element because ultimately it can be reduced to maximum let's say zero but maybe it is not possible to reduce to zero so i'll just try to reduce it as low as possible so i'll try it with a minimum value of prime number which i because i want to reduce my number none my numbers of i i want to reduce by prime so i'll just reduce starting from two is it possible my seven is still more than six uh -huh. let's move on like let's move on to the next prime which is three is it possible I get a 6. Oh, but it is equal to. I want it strictly increasing. So, still not possible. Let's reduce it. My Let's reduce it more, which means 9, nine minus 5, 4. Oh, yeah. Here was my 6. Here is my 4. It has become strictly increasing. 4 to 6. Oh, yeah. It is a good number. So, I can reduce a prime number 5 from this 9. And I could just get a number which is 4 which is which is less than six and i'm good now now i just move on back again back now my new number earlier it was nine but now i have transformed this number because of the because of this six i transformed my nine to four so now the number is four and not nine now i have to i have to make sure okay i have to reduce this particular four something that it should be less than four because Next element is 4, right? I want it strictly increasing. Let's try if it is possible or not. Firstly, what are the prime numbers which are less than 4? Only 2 and 3. I just check with 2 because I want to reduce as minimum as possible. I'll try with 2. I get a 2, which is, le which is less than 4. Voila. I am good. Now, my array, like the element has gone and it has become a 2. Now, the new the new array which has become is 2, 4, 6, 10 and I have greedily made this array such that all the elements are as maximum as possible as maximum as possible thus it is the possible maximum array which I can make I can check now if it is increasing or not if it is increasing answer you, you, answer you can return is true but if it is not and you tried your best 
you tried your greedy best it is the best you could do if it is not then you will just return a false it is the only thing which you have to do in this problem and it's pretty standard firstly i just used a sieve if you don't know how a sieve work um, i'm planning to make a video on whole number theory so firstly we'll start with graphs and then with number theory so in that we'll cover but meanwhile you can just write on google uh sieve of erastosthenes erastosthenes um and you can just get uh, get the sieve but it is not required to use sieve in this algorithm because you can also use an n square algorithm to find the prime numbers you can just standardly use an n square algorithm to find the prime numbers and it will be good so you can so it is just to find okay what all numbers are prime you can just get it from this when we have found okay all these numbers i have put in a vector called as primes so i just get okay all these numbers are prime and there are 168 prime numbers i did not manually print all them i just went on to uh, wolf elfram.com i'll just check it once quickly what was the website uh, it is wolfram v o l f r a m a l f a acha wolfram wolframalpha.com by this you can just go and see um in this in this website by, by this you can just go and see uh or any mathematical operation how many numbers how many prime numbers are less than 1000 how many prime numbers are less than 100 uh what are the like any kind of things okay like you want to see okay how the numbers look like you can just go and visit this and by this you can just get a number okay how i need to optimize my algorithm so it's a very good website just bookmark it and yeah after that uh, i had just get a new nums because ultimately i will just make try to make a new nums and ultimately i will just check if this new nums is strictly increasing or not when i'm trying to make that new nums as i said the last element will not be affected because it's of no use to apply any operation of, of primes on that number so it's just good last element is good then i'll just go on from second last element up till the zeroth element which means i just move on from the end right and i'll just check okay firstly i'll check if if my nums of i is less than or equal to my nums of i plus one if it is actually less then it's of no use to apply any operation i can just assign the value of new nums and i can just continue but if it is not if it is not which means my i is actually more than or equal to my i plus one element then what i can do is i'll just go on to every prime number here see here i'll just break out here i'll just break out if my prime number becomes more than my actual number because the condition was the prime number should be less than my nums of i so if it is more i have to break out if it is less i'll just see if by reducing that prime number i can actually reduce my number or not if it is less i'll just check okay after reducing that prime number p is it actually becoming less than my nums of i plus one or not if it is then i'll just subtract the prime number and i'll just break it out because i'm good i'm done ultimately i'll just go and check in this whole new nums array which i have formed right now if the condition of strictly increasing is satisfying or not if it is then i'm good i'll just return a true if it is not at any condition if it does not satisfy i have to return a false so yeah it was all that you how you thought of why firstly you thought of making the prime numbers then you thought greedily that how you can make it strictly increasing so reduce very less primes as possible and by the constraints you can easily see that okay n square would easily work so you just try to use those prime numbers and try to reduce that i hope that you guys liked it if yes then do hit the like button it helps me a lot and see you in the next video until then goodbye take care